One of my favorite parts of our kitchen renovation are these gorgeous corbels. I fell in love with this nearly 150 year old East Lake Victorian corbel that I found at a local architectural salvage store. But unfortunately, the second in the pair was heavily damaged and both were not at all suited for a kitchen bar space. So I made my own using my x carve CNC machine by Inventables. Stick around and I'll show you how to carve and assemble these corbels and then give them a unique aged look. To duplicate the beefy look of the original design, we'll need to carve through multiple pieces of wood and then assemble them with wood glue. Fortunately, a CNC allows for the precision this job requires. I'm partnering with Inventables to show how easy it is to create this design. There are a ton of project templates with full instructions on the Inventables website, so be sure to check that out. Each corbel requires four separate carves, uh, which you can see here, these are the inner portions and these are the mirror image outer portions. The interior uh, carves are half inch deep and the outer carving goes to three quarter inch deep. You can of course change that depending on your own material. Um, obviously it's going to be impossible to get a piece of wood of this size unless you're using plywood, but that's not going to look right with these edges. So in order to make this work, I carved each piece individually and what you'll do to, to make that happen is select uh, the square and then use the square to mask off the pieces that you are not carving. So you'll cover up each piece and then set the carve depth to zero. And you can see over here that the machine now isn't going to recognize anything over here. So if I were carving this portion, I would cover up everything but this. And then when you're ready to move on to the next section, simply select it, delete it, delete the, uh, the square covering, and that piece is still there just as is. I elected to use a one quarter inch straight bit for these corbels. In order to really get into the insides of these motifs, you would need a smaller bit, but given the depth and amount of material, as well as the length of this carve, I judged it best to stick with the one quarter inch bit. You may find my settings a bit on the slow side, so feel free to adjust those if you like. This carve does take a considerable amount of time. The inner pieces take about an hour to carve, and those outer pieces with the decorative motifs take a good three plus hours each. Once you've completed carving all four sections, go ahead and give that a really light sanding just to remove any tabs. And then you'll glue all four sections together and clamp them down good and tight. I added a piece of decorative trim to the back side of each of these corbels to give them a little more dimension and to better mimic the look of the vintage corbel that I was copying. Uh, from there you'll move on to distressing. Use a sander, I used this sanding mop, I'll leave a link to that, as well as a bristle brush just to give this some distressing to soften down those edges that wouldn't be as crisp if the corbel has been around for a long time. And then I gave it a very light staining. I used weathered oak by Minwax, but I didn't stir the stain first. So the pigments were still settled at the bottom and it just produced a really light stain. From there, I added a very light coat of white paint and then sand it back until I was happy with how it looked. You can make these turn out however you like depending on how much you want to distress them and how much if any paint you use. You can also easily size these corbels up or down so they fit in your own space like these fit in our kitchen bar. I think they look great next to the original corbel. Each corbel took about one day to carve, maybe nine hours per day. The result is a thick, gorgeous, and truly unique set of corbels that are great for shelves, islands, or wherever you want to use them. Check out www.thecreatedhome.com for a written tutorial and supply list. Thanks again to Inventables for partnering with me and helping to bring ready-made plans to you free of charge so you can jump right into the exciting world of CNC carving.